We got a lot of new settings and drop down menus with the 5.3 update. So in this video, I'm going to show you what every single drop down menu does, where to find it and how to use it. So here we are in pro mode. And the first one I want to talk about is a really cool new feature. And it's going to be over here in our Nero mix section. So down here with our settings, you're going to want Nero mix the first one selected. And then it is over here. This is mute effects. So it's going to add an echo depending on how many beats you want uh, when you get rid of the vocals. So it, it makes it cleaner and more crisp when you get rid of the vocals. So I'll show you what it sounds like without it. And then I'll show you what it sounds like with it. So kind of, um, it sounded kind of off. It didn't really sound that great. It wasn't as polished. So now let's do it again with this feature on. So it adds a more polished professional feeling when you get rid of the vocals. Really cool feature and what's exciting is this drop down menu could be expanded so maybe they'll add a reverb or something else. Uh, I'm really excited to see more effects but right now it's just echoes which sound really cool. Really cool. Next, um, the old ones I'm going to go through really quickly because you probably already know them. So Nero Mix, so we could change it from different bands. So here we have a four band Nero Mix and then now we could switch it to two instrumental or bass or we could switch it to two three really cool uh, if you want to get more involved with the Nero mix next is over here and this is our bpm drop down menu you could change the range of the bpm i recommend keeping it from 16 to 25 so you could do big bpm changes but it's not too much that uh, you can't get precise and then you could also edit the bpm here you could even tap it in really cool features Next, these ones are really hidden, but by the one over here and by the two over here, there's a drop down menu. You could do slip and slice. These are good for doing DJ tricks. You could turn on high contrast, which, which I recommend you're doing so you could see stuff better. And if you were wondering where my jog wheels are, there's a setting here. You could put the jog wheels on and off if you like. You could do vertical waveform, which is kind of hard to see, but if you use the hidden feature and you deselect one of these three features, you get a big vertical waveform view, which is helpful depending on which software you're used to. And then we could separate the neural mix stems in our waveform to see every bit of neural mix. And then it dims down as you deselect it. And then when you turn that on, you could use these isolators over here that pop up. We got a lot of new features with neural mix with the 5.3 update. So now we're going to move our features over from neural mix to Q. So this is what Q's going to look like. You have a drop down menu here. You could change your quantize or turn on the quantize Q and loop. You could go to pitch Q over here. And then here we could set Q points for pitch Q, which is really cool. And then this is the most hidden feature. So now we could go to skip, but you might be in slice. If you're in slice, then we get a hidden menu and we could do skip. So now we could, we could skip skip a certain amount of beats. So if you want to have your cue points 16 beats in, you could do that here. And then you could also set your Nero mix start and stop points. So they're like cue points, but when you do auto mix, not Nero mix, auto mix start and stop. So it's going to start at this point and end at this point every time you're in auto mix. So you could kind of do pre-made mixes. But this feature is really good if we add, uh, if we use another hidden drop down menu. So we always had these isolators down here for a narrow mix. But now if we press this drop down menu, now we have another way to control our skip. And then you could change the beats. And that that's very helpful because now we could have our cue point section open in the features here. And then let's say we wanted to set a cue point 16 beats in. Now we can do that without switching screens. Really cool. And with our cue points, if we press the pencil button, we get a drop down menu and we could change the colors here and they actually show up on your controller if you have RGB enabled controller. So really cool that we have that feature now with the skip. You could also edit the beat grid over here. 
So now another thing you could do besides Nero Mix with this button here is set your effects. So now you have another way to use effects. And if you press the drop down menu again, you could choose which effect you want for one and two. Really cool feature, really cool way to add effects. So if you don't have this effects portion open, then you have it there. But while we're in our effects section, we get drop down menus to change our effects. But, but now we could select the effect reverb and we could choose which narrow mix stem. So now it's only going to reverb on the vocals. So really cool because a lot of times when I use echo or reverb on, I only want it on the vocals. So that's a really cool feature. And then you could deselect it like that. So now we're in our loop section. We have manual loops, again, quantized with the drop down menu, save loops. And then with the drop down menu, we can name them bounce. But then if we do a drop down menu, we get a pad. So it's going to add high pass, low pass to our to our loops, effects I showed you. So now here we have the middle section. If we press the middle section here, we get a drop down menu. We always had this Neural Mix EQ. Really easy way. Um, a lot of people thought the future of DJing besides uh, lows, mids, and highs was gonna be drums, harmonics, and vocals. So maybe that'll be the future. But with this new amazing feature that they added, we could drop it down and have a Neural Mix crossfader. So now they're both in the middle, but now you could do vocals on one side, instrumentals on the other side. Really easy way to do Nero mix, mix it, Nero mix mashups, and we could even do different, uh, more stems or less stems. So really cool. I like to keep it on my regular equalizer though. This drop down menu is going to control our crossfader effects, and they added a lot more crossfader effects, which is really cool. Here we have our looper. This drop down menu is just going to change our looper packs and get more. And then here we have our sampler and we could change the sampler packs here, or we could press the pencil button. And a really cool new feature is we could control the volume of specific sample. So Jam. that's like that. You could lower it Jam. and then it's going to keep that volume every time you use this sample, which is independent from this slider here and then here we could change the bpm bpm and the sampler is amazing you could even add your own custom samples and if you want to learn how to do that check out this video over here thank you